would we be cool if a woman was a bread the breadwinner in the relationship? So whenever I see that, I think the woman is uh, not necessarily trying per se, but it's emasculating me. Like if a woman like says, "Why are you holding a door for me?" type stuff, that it no, no, I do not like that because. If I'm supposed to be here and I'm supposed to be the man of the situation, then I'm going to take initiative and be the breadwinner. She can make her own money cool, but the, the, real, the, real, the reality of the situation is that I ain't seeing none of that money. I might see it in like a, a form of like a gift here and there or whatever, but she's not going to pay my rent. She's not going to pay my bills. She will, if she does, it's probably for like a month or two, but after that, she's gone. She's like, this man ain't doing nothing for me. So why would, why would I allow myself to be in a situation where a girl's making more money than me? I'm not saying like a girl can't do that. But the thing is, is that there's a timer on that relationship. If she's like, because she, what, what people don't understand, what women don't understand is that a woman, a, a woman, a woman is going to typically date equal to or more than her current income status. And so whenever women want to like make all this money and think that that's what, attracts a man it's not it's not no no i would say no what's I, your I response because you're making that. a little face when he's talking <laughs> <laughs> lay it on me you, you, you're fine what did you, what'd you just say i just said lay it on me oh um <laughs> <Cricket. laughs> like <laughs> you want me to talk over the laughs? Oh, no, just someone laughed kind of funny, so I don't know. Do you think it was me? You think I, laughed I don't know. Who, was that you who was laughing? No. Oh, somebody was... I've been very serious. Oh, very serious. Serious. <laughs> and no, what really just got me was, like, the whole, like, time around the relationship. If, if the woman wants to be the breadwinner and you allow her to be, I think then that's up to her. Like, that's her decision. And that's fine. She can yeah. have that. She can have that. I'm not taking that power away from her. Mm -hmm. I, I refuse to take a power away from a woman. However, I will not stay in that relationship. That's oh, not you, something you I wouldn't is it stay. Demas right. Like, it's, is it not masculine? I was like, just about yeah. to say that. It's emasculating. I mean, that's just, the, that's the honor. Then make the money to support no, no, no. the woman. You can, you can make your own money mm -hmm. to support yourself. I mean, that's essentially what society is right nowadays. You know, you have to make money to support yourself. Yeah. But whenever you're in a situation where a man can and will take care of you, mm -hmm. why have a job? You know what I'm saying? To Wh be independent and make money for yeah. yourself. In right. So independent of what? Up going wrong. Independent of what? If something goes wrong, you get a divorce, you're screwed at the end of it. You I, didn't work. I understand your point. Not even independent if, of what? Not even if you get a divorce, just if a breakup happens, if something goes wrong, like why would you want to slowly depend on a man? I mean, you, no, well, not, not even a man. Why would you want to slowly depend on anyone? So my, my question was, in order to be independent, you have to be independent of something. So what would you be independent of? The answer is a man. And so if you're independent of a man and you don't need a man, then continue to do your thing. But I'm not going to stay with you. And that's your decision. Absolutely. And yeah. of course, everyone has their own decisions. Yeah. Of course. You have, the, you have your decision not, to I make think all your money. Not everyone is going into a relationship because the man has a lot of money. It's because of love. Well, it, statistics is, show that the majority of women are. Is money all you have are. to offer? Oh. Oh my yes. gosh. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> so you don't bring anything else to the table other than your money. Well, bring a lot more. Money is not everything. Like we keep going back to like statistically, financially. If you love a person then that should be enough to stay with yeah. them. Will you be homeless with that person? Yeah, maybe. 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 Honest, if I love them enough, I think I would. And I love hard. When I like somebody, I get I agree. fucking obsessed okay, with Okay, yeah, earlier on, in the show, you guys just... all stated that you wouldn't stay in there for oh, a long period. Hold on, hold on. We'll come back to that. Yeah. A man has to feel that he is needed. If he feels that he can't provide anything to the woman he is with, there is no reason for him to be there. Dudes like being useful and needed. If that isn't there, you move to some girl that doesn't need you. Good night. Yo, Bryce, thank guys. you so much for the uh, for the TTS, man. Really appreciate it. So, 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 it's just like a question of masculinity, like just like that comment said. Mm -hmm. Like no, a man for, needs to feel needed, and a man needs to feel like he can support his woman. So, for me personally, I would actually have no issue dating a woman who makes more than me or who's okay. the breadwinner. The reality is, though, is that most women aren't going to want to date a guy that makes less than them. And the primary yeah. reason that there's divorces is due to financial reasons. Like and I understand finances that. are a huge reason why people break up, why people get divorced. So money is absolutely a factor in all this. The, it's a factor, but I don't think um, that it's everything. It's a huge factor. But, uh, yeah, a huge factor but could be a... Here's the thing though. Like, 
women typically are not prepared to hold a man down long term. Like we as men, we will be the sole breadwinner or in the entire relationship, but mm-hmm. a girl would not be prepared for a, like on a long timeline to continue supporting a guy in the same way that a guy would just be willing to continue supporting a woman. Okay. Um, Can I, I say something? Sorry. Yeah, go, ahead. go ahead. So I kind of say this out of experience too. So um, being in a relationship with a guy who doesn't have a job, that was my last relationship mm-hmm. for a long time. And I was in that relationship for six years. He didn't have a job for almost the entirety of our relationship. And that was a very unhealthy relationship. I think, um, like, he, he wanted me to be a girl boss and get the promotion and be the provider. And he would say, maybe he'll be the stay at home dad. And so I kind of like was in a way seeing it like that, but that's not in our nature. Like, for me, I want a family and I want to be able to um, be at <laughs> home and take care of my kids and be a stay at home mom. That's what, and so being in that relationship and being in a relationship like that like you said it is very emasculating and um it's just not in our nature for us to be in a relationship that way like you were even saying earlier like we have our roles Mm -hmm. for a man to provide and for or the woman to submit and mm. these are such no, be the outdated rule, like roles though no, like but, but they but work but no. Not, no not that's everybody that's what works is in like a healthy that. relationship though that's a, that's what <laughs> works when you if you want to have a healthy relationship that's what works because well, i don't think that's, I don't that's think why so. divorce I, is at a whole time high I'm, right now i'm a nanny and i work for this one family and the mom is the breadwinner she has her own well i don't want to say what she has but she has like a well-established business like she is up there and her husband like I don't know if he works to be honest but anytime I'm there he's like always home always cleaning taking the kids to school and it works they have an amazing relationship they've got a lot of kids and he is like in love with this lady and I've seen it and I've experienced it so it's not, I don't know where, like... But she may not feel the same. She might not see him but she's the same. She's with him. with him. She clearly, like, she talks to me. Like, she's very clearly in love with him. They are very clearly in love with each other. I think at the end of the day, it all just boils down to who you choose to be yeah, with. Yeah, it's not... It's all about who you choose to love. And if you choose to support them, and then, then that's fine. Like, if you choose to slowly support your husband, or if you choose for your husband to slowly support you, I think just boils down to who you love and who you want to be with. Like, if you want to be taken care of, that is completely fine. Yeah. But other people, they want to they wanna be proud of themselves and they want to be like, wow, like, I have this business. I did this. I accomplished this with, you know, like, some girls want that. So, That's a fun face you're making. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead and add. Well, yeah, I think just to bring it back to my original point, like, I think a girl will hold you down for a little bit, but it won't be long term. Some women are okay with being breadwinner, but like the vast majority of women, even if they're decent earners and they have the ability to hold you down, there there's gonna be like a time limit. Find a job, yeah. find a job, get a job, get a job, get a job. <laughs> they're gonna lose respect for you. Ten out of ten, humble, super chatted fifty dollars. Yo, Donated thank you, man. About three hundred dollars now. Dude, which thank shows you. how valuable I consider this show to be and what Brian does for the world, tilting the scales in the right direction. Thank you. Bangs, thank I can you. tell you're a good person at heart. Please don't disregard prior Jen's wisdom. Ah, a ah, wholesome, wholesome TTS Solid. moment. Wait, Humble so. 10. Shout out Humble 10. Kaylin, <laughs> do you want to come in on this? I want to try to get you in yeah. a little bit more. No, I just want Would to you say, hold down a guy? I wouldn't hold down a guy, but if a guy wants to oh. provide whatever he wants for me, then I will, I will let him. Like, oh. if a guy wants oh. to come into my life right now and be like, oh, like, I want you to be a stay at home mom, or if I want you, I want to make all the bread, I will let him do that. But until then, I'm gonna hold my ground and I'm gonna provide for myself. Can can you hide that, Eric? Kaylin? Yes. Will will you marry me? <laughs> Are you gonna provide for me? Like three months down the road, probably. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm engaged now. 